There's a lot in it. <laughs> I don't know if y'all were listening to that one passage, but man, there is a ton when Paul gets going in Romans, okay? So take a breath on that. I understand. I'll try to break it down a little bit. Um, and if you're an old Presbyterian, I know you're just dying to take notes. I, I know you are. So you don't have to do that. But St. Paul tells us, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay? Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And he says that we can do that by not thinking of yourself more highly than we ought to. Just don't think of yourself more highly than we ought to. And then he goes to his theological point. We who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. In other words, everyone is of worth and has something of value, or as I put it, I've heard it put this way in the vernacular, and I like this. God don't make no junk. <laughs> God don't make no junk, okay? But the world believes in junk. The world believes in junk. The world believes in it. So do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. So yesterday, I was at my son's soccer game. And this was their first game of the season. My son's been playing all his life. And they mixed up the teams a bit this year. So they got some new players on there. And uh, some of these kids obviously hadn't played ever. <laughs> um, and so I'm watching this game, and like one boy, he couldn't throw in the ball, right? Like he jumped when he, you don't do that in soccer, you can't jump. And then one boy, the ball went right by him, and the kid just sort of went. <laughs> so anyway, I'm watching this soccer game. They got scored on in the first five minutes. I already know this is where this game's going. Now, my son played great. <laughs> he did. He is a good son. He played great, great soccer player. But, you know, I realize you start fixating on the things that are bothering you, right? And for me, these are little boys playing soccer. Ooh, I started judging. <laughs> I started judging these little kids who were playing soccer. And I was just fixating on, like, well, obviously we're going to lose because you're doing that. Uh, and I just sat there in my little chair, and I just started getting miserable. Miserable. And I'm looking around all the other parents. They're all smiling and happy, laughing, talking about what they did last night. <sighs> I'm miserable. They're 11. <laughs> They're 11 years old. And I'm sitting there getting miserable about an 11-year-old soccer game. And I'm miserable, man. But I am conformed to this world. I am conformed to this world. So I have to renew my mind. I have to renew my mind over and over again. Now, I'd like to tell you I'd had, I had an aha moment right there during the game. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I would like to say that a ray of sunshine came down. And I was like, oh, the children are beautiful. I love them all. No, I was, I was miserable for hours, right? And then I realized what a punk I was being. And it wasn't until I reread the scripture. <laughs> Sometimes scripture can do that for us, y'all. I read this scripture because now I can look at that game and see that all those boys are really having a good time, just running around, you know, in the summer, playing a ball game. Those kids are learning how to play the game. They're having fun. Let them have fun. They'll get better. <sighs> but I miss that moment because I am conformed to this world. I miss seeing children just being having fun being children of God. I miss them having fun. Don't be conformed to this world. Don't be conformed by this world. Be transformed. I mean, it is the gospel. We are members of one another. <laughs> we belong to each other. We belong to each other. And if we see the world like that, if we see the world like that, well, Jesus called it heaven on earth. Amen.